All right, Alexis, thank you. On just one station, a long-awaited family reunion for a homeless man who once again has a home. The story started with a deputy helping him out after seeing him get robbed. Then a viewer saw that story and made a generous gesture to reunite him with his family. Here comes somebody. Biting her nails. Nope, that's not him. Tapping her leg. Oh, I'm so nervous. As Anna Fleener waits at the airport in Indianapolis Tuesday night, you can tell she can't wait to see her long lost brother. Well, I mean, I just, I just keep talking about it. Hours earlier and a thousand miles away at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, happy tears from Anna's brother, John Boggs. This guy right here. Who will no longer have to live alone on the streets of South Florida. A 7 News viewer using the money he was saving to buy a car I had to help him up to buy Boggs a plane ticket so he could go home to Indiana and be with his family. Hope everything works out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever need anything, call me. You got my number. Yeah. All right. Good. God bless you. Members of Broward Sheriff's Office's homeless outreach team getting Boggs through security before his flight. Yes. Jonathan Fisher would work with BSO after an undercover deputy helped Boggs while he was outside of Walgreens in Plantation last month. There was an attempted robbery on, on John, um, and uh, there was a detective, an undercover detective, that had observed what was going on and had thwarted that. And uh, from WSVN's uh, story, uh, we uh, learned of a gentleman that wanted to help. And I walked up to him and I said, are you Johnny Blog? He's like, yes. And I said, my name is Jonathan Fisher. I'm here to try to help you get home. The story hitting social media and reaching John's sister in Indiana. She shared these pictures with 7 News of her happy childhood memories. And after 14 long years of waiting. I hope he knows where to come. Surely he does. She added one more memory. <gasps> This once homeless man is finally home. How are you? All right, I miss you so much. And before he left, John said the first item on his agenda was to hug his family 